darkest roads and up in the clouds But I've always felt that something's missing That was until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky, oh There's nothing missing now that you're my Welcome back to my channel, Lynn White here, Mama of Five, doing all things cleaning, decor, organizing, a lot of recipes, a lot of motherhood lifestyle here on my channel. Today we are going to be doing a spring cleaning. We are coming to the end of the kitchen renovation. Thank you, Lord. You guys, I'm so ready for spring. I'm so ready to bring in like the pastel colors and just kind of fix this place up a little bit. I'm excited to be doing this with you guys today. We are gonna be doing a spring cleaning, so any place that I see, like the fans or the window sills or whatever, I'm gonna tackle that in this video as well. So it's gonna be a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration. So I'm so excited that you are here today and we are gonna have fun doing this together. I am also so excited because today's video is a collaboration with my sweet friend, Emily, from This Crazy Cleaning Mama. She just had a baby and she is doing her thing. She inspires me and motivates me so so much and she's honestly just the sweetest soul so i would love for you guys to go check out her channel after you are done watching today's video you're gonna love all her cleaning motivation that she provides also she is a boss like i said she just gave birth and she is deep cleaned in her house i mean like yes she's amazing so we have similar content on our channels and i know you are going to love her love 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 as much as i do if you're coming from emily's channel thank you so much for being here i am so thankful for you go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you go any further and we are going to start cleaning this house i've got this feeling so as you can imagine with having five kids the laundry is ongoing um, on this particular day, I did about five loads of laundry. Um, I need to get on a better schedule. I have said that so many times. Let me know in the comments, like what is your laundry schedule? How do you stay on top of it? Because this is just one area that I am not good in at all. I need to do at least a load a day and I just, I get lazy, just point blank, I get lazy. So I definitely need some help. Baby without these containers I got them from Walmart they were about five dollars I guess they're like drink dispensers but with the laundry detergent it did not flow smoothly it always just got so like clogged up and now with this it is dripping so I have found some really cool glass jars off of Amazon with a pump I have them in my Amazon favorites but in my next video you will see those jars they are so pretty I showed them on Instagram as well because they're so unique looking and it's gonna be so much better than these drink dispensers as you can see I was getting ready to put the dishes in the dishwasher and then realized they were all done and clean and I had to unload it real quick has that ever happened to anybody it's like you're ready to just fill up that dishwasher and then when you say you have to put dishes away sometimes I honestly want to just say forget it I don't want to do this anymore but I pushed through I made it happen if you guys can see there Chris put the handles on the cabinets and I'm so happy because it looks so much better and they are so much easy easier to open
Now time to load up the dishwasher. I try to do this earlier in the day, at least unload it. That way it's ready to get filled back up throughout the day and especially around dinner time. We can put all of our dinner dishes in there. It makes it so much easier. And then we like to run it in the evening and that way in the morning it is ready to go for us again. keeps me out of Target, um, it just works for me. If you guys want a code, let me know. I'll just put one in my description box so you guys can do it too. It's amazing. For my birthday, I ordered myself some mom jeans. I hope they fit. I've definitely been working on my weight loss journey. Um, and it sure does help when I am overwhelmed off like eating. Those look really small. So, we'll see if they fit. We'll see. I'm literally gonna put them on right now. Wow, okay. So usually I comfortably wear, <laughs> I comfortably wear um, an eight. These are a six and they fit so good. Um, I saw so many and I love that they come up high. I, if y'all see me wearing mom jeans, they're usually um, Walmart, which I'm obsessed with. These are great. Um, I love them. I saw Tara Henderson wearing them, and I'm like, I have to have them. They're usually like, let me see, really expensive, but you guys know me. I don't buy anything for price. So I got them for $33, and I think they were originally like maybe $70. That was really good. Then I got this top. Show you guys it's like an animal print oh i love it it's a medium it's like an animal print y'all know i'm such a basic girl like the shirt i'm wearing here is from my friend's boutique lala she boutique and so this these feel really good actually i feel like i feel like they fit perfect honestly and then i got this really beautiful top um, it's got the balloon sleeves or like like the puff sleeves, which I love. I've always loved. I'm a little nervous because I'm not gonna lie, I sweat and I wouldn't want it to show through, but this is really, really pretty. Let me try it on. I have birthed five children, so. But I really love this. I mean, it is a medium. I feel like it would be really cute tucked in. Um, let's see. Yeah, I actually think it's really cute. Tucked in with like my slides, my um, animal print slides. I think they're really cute. So, I mean, I have lost some weight and I can definitely tell. I mean, I've been just trying to watch what I eat, but this is what it looks like and I'm kind of loving it, honestly. Let's try it with my slides. So I've got my slides here. These are from Target. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. What do you think? So obviously I've got a ton of laundry that needs to be done, but are these not the cutest jeans? The cutest mom jeans ever? And I mean, it is cute. Like if you wanted to go to dinner and you wanted to wear it with these, or, and I did get a tattoo for my birthday. It says, trust the process. I'm kind of loving it. What do you think? I will try to find the link to both of these things, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about it. I'm not 
too mad about it. Okay, I gotta put my other clothes back on. I've gotta finish cleaning. See, this is the thing, I get so, so distracted. But, ah, how cute would these be with this top? I think it'd be so precious. So I guess since I have groceries, I'll just show you what I got really quick. Um, let me get on the floor here because I haven't put them away just yet, but I got the kids some. Give me a second here. Okay, I got the kids some lunch snacks. I got this Downy Nature Blends, this plant-based aloe and rose water detergent. I got some corn for uh, corn casserole today. We're gonna have barbecue chicken in the Instapot and um, corn casserole. And then I got some, let me throw you guys around. So I got some Cinnabon uh, Keurig. I love these, especially before I go work out. These are so good. I got myself a toothbrush. This is gonna go with the corn casserole for Noah. I was like, this child can't hear me, and it's true, he can't. He has so much earwax in his ear. Do you guys have any kids that have like a massive amount of earwax? That might sound gross, but we clean his ears out, but it builds up so quick. I got these, the, let me get you in focus here. These are so good. This is kind of like Nespresso. It's compatible with Nespresso machines. They're $3.99 for 10 of them, and it's so tasty. Uh, toothpaste, some potatoes, some Honeycrisp apples, some, my dogs know when this bag comes out. Ooh, Ruby says, what? There we go. Some of these. Um, Paper towels, bubbly chicken, creamer. I got caramel creamer. I don't know what is going on with my camel, camera, you guys. It's in and out. Um, hold on. Okay, some silk, vanilla, almond, pizza for the kids, yogurt, broccoli, more bubbly, all natural sausage, bread, and gluten free bagels. And that is a wrap. So let me open this. You guys are gonna see how precious these dogs are. Just give me a second. So here we treat our animals like they are very much our children. So I like to get them little special treats every so often. Hazel, here she comes. Hazel, mommy got your treats. Hi girls, hi. Sit, good girl. Hazel, let me see your face, happy girl. Here's a better look I showed you guys in my last video, the rug that I got, I love it so much. I got it from Boutique Rugs and I will have a link for you guys. So it's just a runner, a two foot by seven foot runner. And I think it's beautiful. my microfiber cloths gonna get it wet and wipe down the countertops I got these from Marshall's a pack of 10 for $4.99 I think it was I thought it was $9.99 but when I was in there the other day it said $4.99 so you guys gotta run out and go get them I love these cloths I mean this is my favorite color and having all the same color makes me so so happy but also just how well they clean these are a great buy going to interrupt this video real quick and say if you guys are enjoying this video would you go ahead and hit that like button it would mean so much to me it's totally free and easy to do and it just lets me know that hey you are enjoying this video and if you want to take it a step further i would love for you to consider joining my youtube family would you hit that subscribe button 
that would mean the world to me and it lets me know that hey you want me to continue to do these videos and you would like to join my youtube family which uh, i would love to have you going to wipe down the cabinets they are looking so so dirty we have the new cabinet doors but I need to paint them so it's just another thing on my to-do list I'm hoping to get that done this week um, I'm so ready for this kitchen to be done I know I say it so much and I don't want to negate the fact that hey this is a huge blessing to have my kitchen renovated I know that and I'm so grateful but I'm also ready for my kitchen back I am taking this cheese tray or cheese and cracker tray I got from Home Goods. It was $19.99, and I am putting um, these canisters on here. I got them from Walmart for $5 each, little drink dispensers. The other one that had the detergent in it did not work well because the detergent was too thick. And this is working fine, or it has been, but now it's leaking. So I'm so excited for you guys to see the new beautiful glass jars I got. I'm so ready um, in my next video you guys will see that my next video this week so make sure you guys are subscribed so you see that it's coming up but it is gonna be a spring clean and decorate and y'all we are gonna get so much done I am so ready to get all my fall decor out and I cannot wait to show you all the fun cute stuff I got So in my last video I actually vacuumed the top of this table and one of you guys said I've never seen that done before and you are right that is my you know I don't want to say lazy but let's just say creative way to clean all of the kinetic sand out of the grooves of the table I let the kids play with it on here and it was everywhere so vacuum in the table it must be so this is day two of cleaning and i am going to start off by stripping the bed and washing the sheets and the duvet cover i'm still on the hunt for a good duvet cover i like this one but it's too big um, i need 110 inches by 96 inches and that is not an easy size to follow but i'm going to wash all the sheets and get ready to deep clean this room spring clean this room like a song like a perfect I'm gonna start wrapping up Chris's TENS machine. He's got back pain and this thing helps so, so much. So I'm gonna wrap it up and put it in the closet so it doesn't collect any more dust. I'm gonna clean off our nightstands and then I am gonna clean all of the strips of tissue paper that Hazel got into. I told you guys she is a messy, messy, messy girl and she rips up paper and socks and brings all the things out into the yard. So I am trying to pick that up. I'm going to start cleaning off my side here. At first I sprayed this uh, wood polish on here and used the duster, but I felt like it was just making it too goopy. So I ended up 
just getting the duster, my e-cloth, which I love, love, love. But I always like to spray my dust, dusters, so the dust that I'm cleaning up doesn't get back in the air. It's just my little tip for you. I don't want to breathe that back in. So I'm going to wipe it down. So in the future, definitely dust it first and then spray the polisher on there. That'll make things so much easier. I am using my oldie but a goodie Windex and cleaning all of the mirrors. I got these mirrors from Kirkland and I love them. I feel like it really opens up this room. The rooms in this house are very small. Um, we just actually took the kids bunk beds down and it just showed us how small. I mean you can barely put two twin beds in one room and so my master bedroom is on the smaller side but having mirrors in small rooms make them feel so much bigger so that is a little tip I am doing the same method, wiping it down with my duster here. These are the Swiffer duster, I think for animals. They're a little bit thicker and they really grab the dust great. And then I'm gonna use my Guardsman polisher and it's for wood and wipe everything down with my e-cloth. One thing about this black furniture, and if you have dark colored furniture, you know what I am talking about. All dust shows up on here like crazy. I got done dusting, finished cleaning, came back in here, and it was, it looked like it was covered again. I'm not even exaggerating, so I ended up dusting it again. I don't know how to get the dust out of the air. We change our filters regularly, but it is so crazy, and you can see it. Even after all this time I spent in this room, it looked like it needed to be cleaned again. We'll be running with the lions, lions. We'll be running with the lions, lions. They can't run, they can't hide. We won't stop until they're down. We'll be running with the lions, lions. Lions, lions. 
I want to encourage you guys, if you are here from Emily's channel, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to welcome you. And I just always want to tell you guys how much you mean to me. I just, I'm doing my dream job and it's because of each and every one of you. And if I am not able to respond right away, please forgive me. I am trying. I get so many comments, but if I heart your comment, then I saw it and I'm thinking of you. But no matter what, thank you for being here. You mean the world to me. We'll be running with the lions, lions. I'm gonna come into my bathroom and start cleaning off the countertops and then wiping everything down. So I wanted to let you guys know I ordered the most beautiful stencil. I am going to be stenciling in my house. I'm thinking I'm going to do the hallway and then the arches and like the entryway where the kitchen and well where the entryway was. I'm so ready to do all the fun things. And then I found the most beautiful antique chairs. I'm having trouble with them, but I am recovering, not recovering them, I'm repainting them. So the home tour, my spring home tour, I am prepping for it and I cannot wait. again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts i want to let you guys know if you would like to know how to properly um, clean and seal your granite or stone whatever you may have in your bathroom or kitchen i have my video my very first spring cleaning video that i did this year shows you how to do that and it is so important that you stay on top of it now is the time spring cleaning you got to do these types of things so i'm going to have my spring cleaning playlist in the description box below you guys check it out it is the one that just says spring cleaning really big on it and it will show you how to clean your granite and any stone you may have in your house it is so hard to get a good angle in this bathroom so i'm just going to show you real quick that i wipe everything down with the clorox wipe and then i will clean it with a clorox toilet wand that is what i've been using and loving it's disposable and it makes me happy but first i wipe the uh, light switches down and then i start from the top to the bottom with the little disposable wipe
After I dust and do everything that I need to do in here, I like to vacuum. I like that to be the very last thing I do after dusting. That way I can get any of the dust out of the air and off of the floor. So on this day here in Florida, it was about 65 degrees, somewhere in there. Um, for spring or during the springtime for us, the weather is like high 60s, 70s, and there are some days that it gets into the 80s. There was a day last week it got, I think, to 83, at least that's what my car said. So you never know how to dress. That's why you all sometimes see me in a sweater and shorts. Almost like 95% of the time you will see me in sandals of some sort. Let me know in the comments below, what does spring feel like where you're at? Is it still cold? Is it really warm? I'm always really curious here. It's just all over the place. But one thing is for sure is I love to open the doors and the windows and let all that fresh air in. You guys, if you have an opportunity to let some fresh air in, do it. The air quality in your house is so much worse than outside, believe it or not. So if you can get some fresh air, just try your best to open those doors up. I mean, it makes me feel so good. I'm going to finish vacuuming my room and try to get under anything that I can possibly move. So I moved the nightstands and the chairs and getting under the bed as much as possible on the dresser. When I am doing a deep clean, whether it's spring or it really doesn't matter, I like to move furniture and try to get around the baseboards. Um, I also, I'm not sure if it showed it or not, but I took that duster and I went along the walls. I noticed dust was collecting up there as well. Um, I don't always see that, but you'll be surprised how much the dust collects on your walls. So taking that, that duster is a lifesaver for things like that, honestly. But I'm just gonna finish up vacuuming and you guys, this vacuum is a lifesaver. It cleans so, so well. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know. Time to start folding some of this laundry. This was the first load I did. I had so much more. I did not show it in this video because it would have been a really long video. But I'm going to tackle this load and then put it away. I had noticed the furniture was looking really dingy. This is why I wanted leather furniture because when I had the cream sofa, I was constantly trying to clean it and it just stressed me out. I love the white and the cream 
sofas but it just doesn't work in this family so the leather has been great so I'm using one of my microfiber cloths a warm one no soap no nothing and just wiping everything down you guys I got so much dirt off of here I was so surprised I cannot do anything without this puppy trying to take whatever I'm cleaning with and runs off with it. She is crazy. Like I told you, all of our socks now have holes in them. And whenever I'm cleaning, she is right behind me trying to take my rags. So I think this is the first time you have seen the dining room table put back in its spot. Yes, I was so happy. I've got the same old rug that I had in the front room. I just put it down. I was on the fence about putting a rug in here because hashtag kids. But I mean, I don't usually put rugs in the dining room, but it looks so pretty and I feel like it really softens up this area with the dark wood and then the color of the um, table. I was going to paint it, but I really feel like more and more I am just not into DIY. I don't have time. I don't have the energy and at this point I don't have the patience so I'm leaving it as it is I'm leaving the rug it softens up the area and I'm gonna make the best out of this space the last thing on my list to clean was the kids bathroom I did not show actually cleaning the toilet area just because the light keeps going out in here and the just it was just no good and you saw me clean one toilet you don't need to see me clean two so i'm going to wipe down their bathroom obviously i took the laundry out of here and then i'm going to wipe everything down exactly the same way i did in my bathroom If you guys are still here with me, let me know in the comments below with the heart emoji or whatever you choose to use. Just let me know that you're here so I can say thank you. It means so much to me when you guys show up and then when you watch my video in its entirety, that is a big deal. It really, really is, so thank you. It would mean the world to me if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go any further. It's totally free and it just lets me know that you liked what you saw. It would mean so much to me. Don't forget to go check out my friend Emily. You're going to love her. She's so motivational, so inspirational, and I have learned so much from her. So I know you guys are going to love her and let her know that Lynn sent you. Don't forget that my next video is going to be a spring clean and decorate, and we're going to have so much fun. So make sure you guys are here next week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.